All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a tail light uh, repair, basically. Now, this is for the 2007 CRV. What happened was the section of my wife's uh, vehicle. She noticed that, or I noticed that her tail lights weren't turning on, and so what? Her tail brake light, sorry. And what happened was I uh, tried to replace some of the bulbs, thinking maybe that was uh, some burned out bulbs. But for some reason, the lights were still not turning on. So what I ended up figuring out was that there must have been a faulty brake switch that's connected to the brake pedal. I'll try to show you that here. You get under the car, and it is this part right here so what happens is when you push in the brake it's gonna push this back and when that happens as you can see the connection is no longer in contact what that does is it signals the lights to actually turn on now when it's depressed it turns the lights off so when you so obviously when you push in the brake the lights turn on when you let go it takes off so I, I took this plug out replace this part this is the switch itself it can cost me like eight bucks at a uh, auto zone replace that then from there I had to go and replace the burned out bulbs so what happened was because this was faulty it didn't make that connection right here and it actually probably kept all the brake lights on even though um, the brake pedal was not uh, pushed in so it actually burned out all the brake lights so I had to actually replace all of them so there's there's five in total and I will show you how to get to those next all right so this is the back of the car obviously we're gonna do to remove these lights is you have to there's usually a tab right here this didn't actually have it I guess it had been removed in uh, prior so you take out the tab and then there's gonna be a screw right here you just screw out there there's a second right there and it's the same on the other end now once you've done that you can just pull this out there's a couple tabs but don't worry about breaking it it's not there's a tab right there, which actually isn't even mounted right now. So the other side actually has it, but it's not a big deal. You just pull it, pull it out, um, and then you can see these tabs right here that coincide. Now all you're gonna do is take each of these lights, light bulbs right here, uh, turn them, and they just pull right out. So it's, it's quite easy. You just pull, turn them, they unlock, and you pull, they pull right out. And then you replace the bulb. They, they just go straight in, straight out. Really easy to do. Um, one tip is when you're putting the light bulbs back in, either wear gloves or wipe them down with some uh, alcohol if you've touched them with your hands. That way the oils don't cause any problems uh, and uh, premature bulb wear out and you're just going to put this back in and replace the screws and then just repeat on the other side not too difficult at all now you said there's five so that's there's one two that were burned out three four and then there's the fifth up here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a flathead just get it in there in there really only need to get one side uh, I did the right side because that's actually the side that the bulb connects in so just pop that that pull it 
out. Alright, and basically this is the same thing guys. You just pull, you turn this. Like that. There's the bulb. You just pull it straight out, put it right back in. That is it. I mean, really actually quite easy once you realize what the problem is. Uh, it just took me a while to troubleshoot what the actual issue was because I didn't realize it's a circuit between all the lights. So what happened was I thought maybe it was the top ones. So I replaced just those. Um, the lights still weren't turning on. So I had to actually replace these as well to complete the circuit. Um, and then that one actually turned on by itself. Um, that's how I realized that it was the, the switch that had messed everything up because I replaced this bulb, uh, pushed on the brake after I put it in the switch, and this one did turn on, whereas those still stayed off. And that just gave me, uh, really, that just told me that there was a problem with the brake switch, which fried all the bulbs. There you have it guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. Again, this is a 2007 CRV, and there you have it. Oh, and before I forget, these are the bulbs that you'll need. These are the small ones, the top, right here. They actually all have the numbers on the inside of this by, the, by where the actual bulb plugs in. So you got that. This was actually for the inside of the car, so don't worry about that. That's for the, the roof. So, right there. And this was one of the other ones here on the side, and then that as well. So again, that actually it actually tells you inside the tail light compartment what goes where, so you really can't mess up um, as long as you look at that. Also, um, when I was troubleshooting, I tried to I was thinking maybe it had to do with the fuse, checked all the fuses, um, that was not the problem, but that could be, um, so definitely make sure you check out your fuse chart and see if that is an issue, because that would have been a lot easier to have uh, fixed if that was the problem. Thanks.